A live look at Percy Warner Park, where a mid-state tradition will be back this weekend for the first time in more than two years. The Iroquois steeplechase returns tomorrow, and traffic anchor Rebecca Schleicher shows us the best way to get there to avoid a traffic jam. We want to avoid any sort of traffic nightmare getting down to steeplechase and have a great day. This is one of the main ways to get down there. I 65 to the old Hickory Boulevard exit. You can see that arrow coming in from the east. You've got Hillsborough to the east as well as Highway 100 taking you to old Hickory Boulevard coming in from the north side of this near Nashville. So it's going to depend on which gate that you have your tickets to gates 3, 4, 5 and 7 need to come in from the west because old Hickory Boulevard is going to be shut down near the park, so you won't be able to just crisscross back and forth. Gates 1, 2, and 6, those folks need to come in through the east. Those orange markers I have here show the different parking lots. We do have mostly paid passes for the different lots, but there is one open lot. It's going to be on Vaughn Road near the baseball field, and then there's an overflow lot as well. But there's also rideshare drop offs, two new ones, and they're closer this year, guys. So Gaucho Road, which is Vaughn Road, just to the north of that. And then Lot M, these are the yellow markers just off Old Hickory Boulevard, will be where rideshares are dropping people off this year. Basic tips, get there as early as possible. That 11 o'clock hour is when everything is really going to pick up, and that's when we're going to start to see that bumper to bumper traffic in the area. Tailgating starts at 8 a.m. though, so you can carpool and get there very early or ride share in order to not have to park. From the Five Live Traffic Center, I'm Rebecca Schleicher.